This video is going to be sort of a day in the life. I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to be doing today, but I'll bring you along and show you some interesting clips of whatever it is that I happen to be doing. Starting off feeding and watering our new baby chickens. I've already given them some food. And I'm going to replace their water. Digging fence post holes is time consuming and very repetitive. It doesn't make for really good videos. So there may be a few videos where I just show little snippets of me doing this. I don't know, maybe I'll do a whole video on how to do the fence post holes and, and all that, but it's not that interesting to me. It just takes a lot of my time. I haven't been able to make much progress on it, at least not as much as I'd like because it gets so hot during the day and trying to dig out all of these rocks from the ground is just uh, it's just brutal anyway I'm out here first thing in the morning today to take advantage of the cool weather probably get a little more done that way I think like I said it's repetitive I just go down a little bit with the auger until I hit rocks then I have to pull it out and dig them out with a pick and a shovel I'm using the front end loader as a toolbox right now. Just yesterday, I was out here working on another hole and I was about to set a tool down when right in front of my fingers I realized there was a giant black snake. This was a big snake. So I'm a little freaked out about the tall grass around here because I really don't want to accidentally step on one of those guys. I looked them up online. It turned out it was a western rat snake. Not poisonous, fortunately. Here we go.
shadow here. I'm glad I was able to do the brush hogging out here so I can at least clear some of my work zones. Don't have to worry about the snakes sneaking up on me at least. I haven't been able to dig the holes as deep as I need to yet. I'm able to get out a lot of rocks, but eventually I hit big slabs of rock that I just can't dig out or dig around. So we're gonna have to figure something else out about that. I'm thinking we're gonna need to get a jackhammer to get through some of those things. But you can see the rock piles are just just growing around here. I got two holes dug and started in on a third. That's really good progress from what I've been doing lately. Wendy is now ready to milk the goats. I'm going to help her out. Wendy does the actual milking. I just bring the goats back and forth for her. She's not feeling so well right now, so she uh, hasn't wanted to be on camera. Anyway, that's why it's just me today. It's always Rogue's turn first. Come on, it's always Rogue's turn first. And Rogue is always the one who's in the back not wanting to go first. Come on, Rogue. Yeah, push them out of the way. They get their breakfast later. Come on, breakfast time. You'll get your turn in a little bit. Come on, Rogue. have to scratch. Do a little scratch first. Okay, come on. Breakfast time. Come on, Rogue. Breakfast time. Come on, Rogue. Don't know why you always have to stop right there. Come on. This milking routine is temporary. Eventually we're going to get a dedicated structure for milking the goats. And it'll have an attached kitchen for Wendy to do canning and cheese making and that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm walking the goats back and forth from the goat barn to our back patio. Sienna is always the last goat. After Sienna is done, it's kind of fun because we get to release the baby goats.
Trying to get the last little drips that you can. If you're wondering about Stormtrooper's purple head, he hurt himself and we've got a, some kind of a medicine on there for him. How's your horn doing? Still hurts. No, I'm sorry, Stormtrooper. There's Guinda. Maple fits under, of course. From day to day, I never quite know exactly what I'm going to be doing. This morning, Wendy found on Craigslist some uh, uh, feeder tubs that we can use as planters. So I'm going to go to the farm and uh, pick those up. She uh, just found them on Craigslist, so that's what I'm doing right now. All right, I'm here at Irwin Farms, and they were nice enough to let me go ahead and film whatever I want here. These are the tubs that we're going to use as planters. Looks like they've got a nice uh, nursery operation here. Too bad Whitney couldn't make it right now. She'll get to see the video. It's kind of a cute little stand here. Got some more stuff back here. Lots of tomatoes. This is Jess, he's the owner. I'm Jess Irwin, owner of Irwin Farms. We're a little plant and produce farm out of Bodark, Missouri. You can find our page on Facebook, Irwin Farms, Bodark, Missouri. We all, uh, we got uh, produce season just starting. About three weeks, we'll have sweet corn. About the end of uh, June, we'll have Blue Hill watermelons. And watermelons. Look us up on Facebook and come on out and see us. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. I just dropped the tubs off for Wendy. Yesterday, I used the last of our sawdust for the compost. I'll have to put a link in for a, a short video that Wendy put together for how I'm using the sawdust. Anyway, we need more, so Today's as good a day as any. It's dry, and uh, I'm going to drive over to the Amish sawmill where I can get another big load of sawdust. Well, that's a lot more driving than I usually do in one day. The Amish sawmill in Dunnigan is pretty interesting, and I would have loved to get drone footage flying over it, but they are Amish, and that would be pretty rude of me to ask to do something like that. I've got quite a load of sawdust here to deal with. Let's get to it.
honestly thought that I'd have enough time today to start working on the chicken coop again. I need to put the sides on. But it's getting a little late and I'm getting a little tired. So that'll have to wait for another day. I don't have enough tubs and buckets for all the sawdust. So what remains in here is going to go out on the compost heap directly. I've got a nice layer of grass on there, so it's ready for a layer of sawdust. supposed to be helping them eat their food. Gunda, that's the boys' food. Sienna, you're setting a bad example. productive day and a good day. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.